Welcome back to ITW Extra, powered by JSA. We are here live at ITW 2023, and this is the official broadcast of ITW here in National Harbor. And joining me today is Mayunk Srivastav. He is the CEO of BDX. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's such an honor to have you here. It's our first time finally meeting in person. I'm After so two happy. Years or three, years three, years. three years. Three years. Yeah. Uh, three years. JSA and BDX have been partnered. Uh, such an honor to represent BDX here. Uh, so, for viewers that may not already know, but I'm sure many of them already do, can you tell us a little bit more about BDX? Sure. So, <clears throat> we are a data center platform focused on uh, APAC, Middle East, and North and North Africa. As we speak, uh, we have uh, our running data centers in. Uh, Indonesia, China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. And by the end of the year, we're hoping to be in four more countries. Wow, expanding so rapidly um, across the globe. So well, is the market asking for it? So yeah, thank you. Yeah. And our customers. So yes. For sure. And this has been an amazing year for BDX, truly. Knock wood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, knock on wood. Uh, let's kick things off with one of the biggest announcements coming out of BDX in its history. BDX Indonesia, uh, one of the area's largest wholesale data centers you launched there. So why don't you give us a little bit more information about that and some of the cloud-focused operations that you're working on and what prompted your entrance into this key market? Yeah, so let's go the other way around. Uh, prompted our entrance into Indonesia. It's a thriving digital economy. There's a lot of focus from the government as well as the players inside of the country to take what they call Indonesia 4.0, which is all yeah. digitizing uh, the country and the transactions. So that is what prompted us um, in terms of how we see ourselves doing there. We announced a greenfield. Uh, we've purchased land for another greenfield. So yeah, we, I mean, we're going gangbusters in Indonesia. Yeah, <laughs> I know that for sure. And last month, you officially broke ground on that greenfield data center in South Jakarta. That's correct. Uh, why don't you tell us about this new facility and some of the expansion plans that you have? So this facility is going to be a hyperscale uh, focused facility. And within the same campus, we have another data center, smaller one, where we are hosting an IX. Uh, it would go live in the middle of June. So the whole idea is to have to enable the hyperscalers to A, access all of the Indonesian eyeballs, connect to the CLS, connect to other data centers, and have part of their heavy workloads deployed on the same, uh, same campus. And you also announced some plans to develop a new 16 megawatt uh, facility in Hong Kong for hyperscale and enterprise customers. Uh, how many data centers now do you have in Hong Kong? So with the, la with the latest announcement, we have four data centers in Hong Kong. Four. Yeah. And this facility is going to come live early next year. So Q124, uh, 16 megawatts, uh, hyperscalers predominantly, enterprise, yeah. Yeah. So, so many exciting plans for BDX. And, it's a fun time. Uh, yeah, it is definitely a fun time. And uh, we sure have been along for the ride there. Is there anything else that you wanted to add today? Uh, well, uh, I guess uh, I'm thrilled and uh, thrilled to be sort of leading the charge. Uh, the good thing that goes with us is that uh, we have a very strong sort of background within the team to be able to enable both edge, which is the network edge, right. and the heavy deployments. And that's sort of the way forward for us. And uh, tier one markets, which is Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, etc. In those markets, we are, we are going to be focused only on hyperscales. Okay. And for tier two markets where the networks are not solved for as yet, we are enabling our customers like in Jakarta with an IX network dense facilities. And tier three markets, some of the markets that we're going to get into, for example, Philippines, etc., where networks are not solved for at all. Uh, there, we our entry strategy is going to be a network edge. So yeah, I mean, we're trying to really uh, facilitate our customers grow their businesses in these countries, dominating the market for sure. And uh, so good to see you here at ITW 2023. And congratulations on your appointment as CEO. That was also some big 
recent uh, news this year. Uh, so where can viewers go to learn more? Uh, BDXworld.com, the website. Uh, that's, I guess, the safest place for now. <laughs> yeah. Also on LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn, Insta. I think we're working those channels. So, yes. Yeah, for sure. So, BDXworld.com. Such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of ITW Extra, powered by JSA, here live at ITW 2023. Happy networking.